Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and exciting content from the world of football. One fine day if I give you the best talent which is available in your country and tell you that you are going to go into the World Cup and this team has to perform as a unit you as a manager will be responsible for how they perform and i have to say this that this golden generation which everyone was hyping about in a country like belgium is officially over yes they were absolutely toothless in front of goal and that has cost them a place in the round of 16 of the fifa world cup in qatar this was the last chance for this golden generation to deliver and under and very very i would say you know toothless manager like roberto martinez this team has absolutely bottled it and martinez has to take the fair share of the criticism because it is he who sets up his team and selects the first 11 and we knew that there will be changes coming into this final crucial fixture against Croatia and definitely I was expecting Eden Hazard to be out. I did not have many issues with the starting 11 but just the approach which Belgium had for this game was just baffling and Croatia on the other hand as we all know are the finalists of the previous edition and this is a team which is known to have quality when it really matters in all the crunch moments their experienced players like Luka Modric or even Matteo Kovacic have delivered and Belgium should have known about this if Roberto Martinez thinks that his team is capable of achieving wonders then I'm sorry to say it is completely wrong because this team has shown that this team is just spineless. Whatever they were trying to create from back to front was just of no result. And definitely, you know, a lot of criticism will go down to how this team has approached the situation. And obviously, everyone would question that more of these golden generation players like a Toby Alderweireld, Jan Vertonghen or even Eden Hazard. All these players have been aging and most of these players are a shade above 30 and that is no you know criticism at all but obviously once you are past your prime you would lose some of your qualities but as a team Belgium getting knocked out at the group stage of the World Cup is just insane. Throughout the first half, only one team was trying to at least score a goal and that was Croatia. They were picking passes for fun, they were creating chances around the corner, through the middle and also I was saying that if you give Luka Modric time and space on the ball or you know, you just give him that kind of luxury to roam around in the middle of the park, he would pick you apart. Unfortunately for Croatia, they could not take their chances. It was a goalless draw in the end and a draw was enough for Croatia to qualify. And yes, they qualify at second spot just behind Morocco who were absolutely outstanding against Canada and deserved to be group winners. And I am not even kidding, even in the first match if you saw Belgium, they were completely outplayed by Canada. And just one, you know, tame effort by Michi Bajshuai finally found the net. And it was really lucky for them that they got the three points. However, talking about the second half of this match against Croatia, I was expecting Romelu Lukaku to field and definitely he got a lot of chances. Five clear-cut chances to put Belgium into the round of 16. One of them hits the post. Yes, you might say that it is unfortunate. One of them goes off his chest and goes straight into the hands of the goalkeeper and the other chances are just really unfortunate. If you have a clinical striker in your team who knows how to find the back of the net, today Belgium would have gone through. It is as simple as that and I know what it feels like for a striker in that situation in such a big match to miss golden opportunities. 
that is what happened with romelu lukaku and i feel for him but for the quality of player that he is he should be burying at least one of those chances because let's remember if belgium had scored one goal and if it had finished 1-0 in favor of belgium croatia would have been knocked out that was the significance of that one goal and they completely bottled it and it is not fair to just blame lukaku because he missed the goals but just the overall style of play it was just atrocious and roberto martinez makes a change like eden hazard coming on in the 87th minute just goes to show that he is just trying all his tricks and you know putting in all the ammunitions wherever it can be possible and defensively also at times if croatia wanted they could have completely run riot belgium were sometimes you know very very lethargic and pedestrian in terms of their build up and that itself has cost them the game there is no intensity kevin de bruyne was looking you know really less motivated i would say because this is not the kdb which we have seen at manchester city and we expected a lot more from his players and kdb was given the captaincy obviously but you have to say that you know they were not trying to give him the ball and we all know what kind of magic he can create whenever he has possession of the ball especially when he has time and space nothing happened and croatia rode their luck at times because belgium could have scored but this is the curse which happens when you have a golden generation when you have a team with loads of expectations from all the fans of your country and also from fans across the globe that is the harsh reality which belgium has to you know understand and roberto martinez has been in charge of this team for 6 and a half years can you imagine with the talent with the kind of talent that this belgian squad has they have not even won a single major international tournament that just goes to show that they have been very very inept in terms of their you know tactics in terms of their philosophy and from the 2014 world cup till this world cup in qatar i would say 80% of the squad is the same they have not evolved as a team and they have not given chances to upcoming promising players who have proven their metal at the european level that is the harsh reality once again if they had evolved let's imagine we would have seen a belgian team which is much more cohesive which is you know really fresh with new players and that could have created a perfect blend of experience and youth unfortunately nothing of that happened roberto martinez has his own way of thinking and with an assistant manager like thierry honry i was expecting that you know honry would also give his tactical inputs but you know even he is not so experienced at the elite level he has not done well at as monaco and obviously we saw him with new york red bulls it was more of a disaster and this belgian team under this manager was completely you know disappointing and if they had a really experienced manager who has seen it all done it all and won it all i would say that this golden generation would have had a significant chance of winning at least the euros if not the world cup and this world cup was just the final nail in the coffin if i can say so because we know that how talented this team is and their performance against morocco was the most shocking performance i have ever seen and everything goes down to once again how roberto martinez wants to set up his team he was preferring players who are known for their reputation and their egos and at times you need to make harsh decisions for the betterment of the team unfortunately roberto martinez did none of that he was choosing his favorites and that has ultimately cost belgium the world cup they are out 
and this is a total disaster for this group of players so guys the golden generation is officially over i don't think this group of players will come together for the 2024 euros and roberto martinez has officially been terminated with his contract with the belgian national team and that had to happen obviously because now that they are out and things can actually you know start from scratch and they can look forward to maybe something positive in the future so let's wait and watch i would love to know what are your thoughts about this you know incredible golden generation which did nothing in the end please let me know your thoughts in the comment section and let me know who was your man of the match if you like this video hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because the football mania is going to come up with some exciting contents so you don't want to miss out stay tuned and until next time stay safe and take care